Whoa, what's up with the world? It's your man, Nico B. This is the Black Effect. Hit that subscribe button, man. You already know what this is. You know what I'm saying? If you uh, don't, you say you support black businesses, you know what I'm saying? You rocking with what your man doing, you know? If you say that, hit that subscribe button. It's free. All right, let me get into this, man. You know, recently um, we all heard about, you know, the tragedy with the man Nipsey Hussle, you know, um, a rapper out of California. You know, he recently uh, passed away from his injuries from being shot. In a, um, at his own business, pardon me, he was shot at his own business, pretty messed up, now, that brings me to this, it's messed up that we try to deflect, you know, that a lot of black people now, is you either got, you got one extreme where the black man can't do no wrong, or you got the extreme, you know, in our community where, you know, we hate each other and and every black man is our fucking enemy. No, it's a healthy medium there. You know, people can just be people. Can we just accept that? Can we just stop with all the bull crap and, and all the colorism and all the race baiting and, and, and BS and accept the fact that people are just people? You know, and one thing we could definitely accept the fact is black people that in our community, man, jealousy is rampant. Like je me and my me and I was just talking to a you know a, a random stranger, uh, another young black man, you know what I'm saying? And I, we was just chopping it up, you know what I'm saying? Building, and um, we was talking about how you know the fact that um that black folks like you can't really that it was a it was a dude who come through the hood in a Bentley. And it's like, we was talking like, man, you know this dude got, you know, got to have a chopper on him, you know. And it's like, because it's like, what's the point? You coming through this, you know, this neighborhood, you stand out like a sore thumb. You know, it's like Grand Theft Auto. When you used to go to certain neighborhoods and Grand Theft Auto, you see certain vehicles and shit like that. That's kind of like how it is in real life. But I guarantee you, yeah, you ain't going to Oak Cliff, Texas, man. You know what I'm saying? In Dallas, in Dallas, Texas, is seeing too many Bentleys, you know what I'm saying, pushing through, you know, no ghettos. And, um, but like, like we were saying, man, you know, that right there, you know, put a tar. It's it's sad, but you can't even come through with nothing nice, trying to give back to your community and things like that, without having to have your weapon on you, you know, ready to blow a nigga brains out. That's fucking sad. And nowadays, you know, with with black people in such poverty, you know what I'm saying, and the wealth gaps going like this and like this, and continue to grow. You got niggas so jealous and thirsty, man. You know what I'm saying? They'll do anything for the come up. Cause the dude who's who did this, you know, allegedly he already confessed. This this goofy person already confessed on Instagram Live. That's another a generation that we live in. Niggas doing stuff for suit. They 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 are ruin their damn life for the clout. You know, you think that's what you want, but when he's sitting in that cell riding to death, man, nigga not gonna you know, nigga gonna regret everything that he did because it's not nothing's worth that. And you took another man's life. You know what I'm saying? You took another man's life for some clout, man. Is that it? Is that it? But like I say, man, you know, black folks need to stop. With all these conspiracy theories, you know, I mean, Nipsey Hussle, you know, I'm not going to sit here in front like I knew the man because I didn't. I didn't even listen to his music. You know what I mean? I don't listen to new rap music and stuff like that. But, you know, still, from what I saw from him, you know, in the media and things, he was doing some good things in his community for sure. You know what I'm saying? Definitely, you know what I'm saying? Building, getting some money, you know what I'm saying? And showing niggas how to do it in different ways. But was Nipsey Hussle Malcolm X? Nah, he wasn't. You know? So you black people, you know what I'm saying? With all of this uh, conspiracy theory, like motherfuckers trying to take him, assassinate him and shit. Man, what the fuck are you talking about? Stop. You know, if 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 you saying because he employ, you know, black businesses or he speaking out against the system, you know what I'm saying, and that way motherfuckers is out to kill him, they'll be trying to kill niggas like my brother. You know what I'm saying? He'd employ employ numerous black people. They be trying to kill me.
You know what I'm saying? I'm out here speaking. You know what I'm saying? Talking about reparations, nigga. Talking about you owe us. You know what I'm saying? Telling niggas what to do and giving niggas the game. They can get to me more easy than they can get to Nipsey Hussle. They not out here doing shit like that. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you people need to stop. It's not, you know, it's not no no big brother group of white folks. You know what I'm saying? Who could who just trying to hit you like that? And like I said, and if they if it is Nipsey Hussle is wasn't on the radar of that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like I said, it's a lot of black dudes doing things for their community. and But at the end of the day, in, in the black community, when you get prominent dudes, like intelligent men who not necessarily some thugs or some gangst want to be gangsters or some shit like that, all they get is pushback in their community, a bunch of argument and a bunch of foolishness from their own people. So, you know, I don't get what y'all want to do. You know what I'm saying? Do you, do you black folk... Dude, do you black folks really wanna wanna um you know um get on get prosperous and 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 get to the to the next level you know what I'm saying and and so we can um have generational wealth and be able to to be on an even level and compete with other races you know and and have and 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 get what's ours or do you just want to talk and come up with a bunch of book um novel conspiracy theory bullshit to just make yourself entertained is that what you want to do? Cause I mean, come on, man. All right, man. You know, this happened. You know, and we're gonna and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. You know what I'm saying? We pray for those who are still alive. You know, his family. You know what I'm saying? And and Lauren London. You know, he just got. You know, I I think he just got married to her. You know, she's still here. You know what I'm saying? We pray for him here. You know, but the Lord said this Himself. You know what I'm saying? Let the dead worry about the dead. You know, wherever Nipsey Hussle is. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not going to sit here and say that I know whether he's, you know what I'm saying, with the most high, you know what I'm saying, or, or or beneath the earth. I do not know. But, you know what I'm saying, all I can say is, you know, we pray for his family, you know what I'm saying, and there was a tragic situation, and you don't wish death on no man because there's no coming back from that. And you you goofy niggas, you you know, it don't take nothing to kill a nigga, you know what I'm saying. You niggas, these hood niggas be cowards, man. I said this in another video. Niggas don't have no muscle mass, you know what I'm saying. Niggas ain't ready to scrap, you know. Niggas can't regulate a situation, you know, with their mind or their hands or their words. You know, you seen on the wire. Look at the baddest killer, you know, on the wire, Omar. Oh, my nigga, everybody in the hood was scared of that gay fag nigga. You know what I'm saying? But who killed him? Little nine-year-old kid, Kanar. Bow, blew his brains off the rip. That's just how it go. No, it's, it take nothing to pull a gun and take a life. That's a coward move. You know what I'm saying? And that's the last resort. You know what I'm saying? That's the last resort, and that's a coward move. You know, you don't get no props out here with that. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, when it's time and, and the shit is on and the shit is hell to pay, hell yeah, nigga gonna pop that thing. You feel me? Because you're not finna, it's, it's gonna be kill or be killed. But like I said, real niggas, you know what I'm saying, don't even really need guns. Like I said, you, it's some niggas who are, who are regulate these, these rumble tumble niggas, you know, with their bare hands and you can have a weapon and they'll still regulate your ass. That's badass niggas, nigga. That's double tough niggas for your ass. That's real men out here, Negro. You feel me? But like I said, man, stop with the conspiracy theories. Y'all need we need to be handling the problems at hand and not be putting our mind everywhere on on foolishness, you know what I'm saying? Just the, and arguing back and forth with each other, man. You know what I'm saying? That's old and that's played out. Like I said, if you a nigga who who ain't got no solutions and all you want to do is argue with the brothers, man, you can miss me, fam. You ain't got nothing to say to me. That's real talk, man. All right, so with that being said, it's a messed up situation. I'm not going to make this video too long. It's your man, Nico B. Black Effect. I'm out.